Move over, kids, because today I'm going to be opening some mail. Just so just move over because I've got lots of mailboxes. I've already taken the liberty of cutting some open, but I have not looked inside. I have bought all of these myself, but <laughs> if you saw the big tower of boxes, you would understand that I don't really remember what I bought. So, with further ado, let's get this. Okay, I know what this one is. And it will have a special place on the wall eventually. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. It is a graphic canvas. And we have 8-Bit Link. 8-Bit Link has seen a lot of love. And I love Link holding up his sword because, I mean, for one, if you look at it, he's barely even holding it. It's like he's, he's like one finger is holding it up and then of course you got his face all distorted and stuff because well hey eight bit let's move on to our next box oh here we go my favorite ebay seller i can tell right off the bat because he's the only one that does fragile these big fragile stickers and yep it is the guy from california this dude is funding a house he's trying to pay for a house i have come to kind of sort of get to know him he doesn't like to talk a lot because he just wants to he just wants to buy a house but you know me i just like to talk and gab and so i was like how'd you get all this stuff i asked him a couple questions and finally after asking him two or three times he started answering me i i told him on my last email that this is probably it so good luck with your house and but i have actually i have sent him that email twice now so who knows maybe not but he, the guy is making me broke this is a zelda embroidery a zelda embroidery this isn't gonna be mine though surprise surprise i have friends in belgium we met because europe is a very big zelda place and there was these there was this couple that were always bidding on things that I was bidding on. And so finally, I reached out to them or they reached out to me. I'm not sure which one it was, but basically we reached out to each other and we started talking and comparing and we were like, wow, we're just driving up the prices. So we made a decision that we would never bid against each other. We literally, if there's something that I really want, I will just tell them I'm going to bid on this don't touch it and then vice versa and there are some times that i've lost some things and there's some times i've gained some things and they've lost but most of all we've saved a lot of money also because customs is so much a lot of times i will they will send me things actually they will actually buy something and send it to me i get a little stockpile and then i will compile it and mail it to them all at once saves them money on customs and they do the same thing for me right now they are holding a zelda watch for me and i believe that might be it i actually have like two or three things for them and they've got the zelda embroidery and it's actually from the same guy so that's a guy that we compared to we we're looking at his me, me and them were always just watching him and like oh my gosh i can't believe that he posted that i actually have that already so i'm not too worried about it but even if i didn't even if I didn't have it, it would be mailed to them. Solo Wind Waker Link Amiibo. It was a two-pack originally released with the 30th anniversary Link Amiibos. It was Link and Tetra in her Princess Zelda outfit. For some reason, they released, they decided in America to re-release Link only as a solo pack and not Zelda. In Japan, there's a Zelda released solo as well, but not in America. This became a Toys R Us exclusive, so it's going to be probably a little on the more rare side moving forward. Nintendo seems to have stopped reprinting certain amiibos and the 30th anniversary edition is one of them although this doesn't have the 30th edition symbol on it even though it originally was in the 30th edition two pack this looks like a game looks like a game it is not even is not in a good envelope i am not happy right off the bat i do not like anything not mailed in a box i do not like anything not mailed in a box what they did was it looks like they took a brown paper grocery bag and wrapped it up. And while they did a really neat job at wrapping it up, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm already, as the buyer, I'm already, like, worried. This is uh, Final Fantasy Online for the GameCube, one of the few rare uh, non-Zelda item things that I'm going to get. But honestly, 
it uh, the artwork is messed up. Look at the artwork right there. And that actually, the artwork is not messed up because of the way they shipped it. It's messed up based upon the fact that it's just messed up. I mean, look at it. There's a tear. Can you see it? There's a tear. This was not disclosed to me. Was not disclosed to me. There's no manual. No manual. Dang it. I've wanted this game for a long time even. And, uh, well, this is getting returned. This is getting flat out returned. And it sucks. You just gotta say all the damage. Take a very close up picture of the damage and let me then decide if I want to get it. Because I'll tell you what, there's other people who will buy it. They don't care, but I do. And so now you shipped it to me and now you got to ship it back on your dime. It's not worth it, people. It's just not worth it. So he mailed it in an envelope. I, I'm like, oh, never in an envelope, right? But he did the right thing. Watch this. He sandwiched it in between cardboard. In essence, he made it a box. If you ship it in an envelope, it's a little cheaper. So if you get a box inside an envelope, well then, that's the loophole. We have another item, and this is actually for my Belgium friends as well. Now this one hurts. This one actually hurts because I want this one. I actually wanted this one, and I had a chance to get it, and I, I passed on it, and my Belgium friends were like, they basically got it when I passed, and oh, I wish I would've got it. I love the way Zelda looks and Link looks. It's just a, it's one of those ugly, ugly things. It's a folder. I've actually only seen this folder once. I know of two other that exist and I wish I could keep this in my collection. I'm very sad to have to ship it off to my friends in Belgium, but it is what it is. Oh, Fragile, you know what that means. My favorite eBay seller. Did the good thing, he shipped it proper. Big sturdy box. Packaging. Oh, so. Oh, whoa. Oh, they got this. This isn't even mine again. This is the Belgian people. They got a graphic. Cool. But then I've actually, I have actually never seen this outside of the box. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> Princess Zelda, I'm here to save you. From the Ben Cooper line of Halloween costumes. We have Link and, and usually, usually when people, oh man, look at this, oh man. When people sell this, it's usually just the mask, but looks like this dude in California had the full costume. This, this is, as someone who prides himself in collecting ugly Zelda merchandise, I have deemed this number one the ugliest of all Zelda merchandise. The Zelda costume, look at this thing. Look at this, you're supposed to wear this. This is your suit, your actual outfit, your tunic, if you will. And a Lionel, a Lionel made the cover. Look at that, look at that, oh gosh. Oh man, look. Hello everyone, trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat this is this is scary this is straight up this is scary okay this is scary i'll take a picture i have the box on my instagram i'll post it in this video as well but oh man it's like vinyl i wish i could meet a kid who who an adult who said yeah i was that this is one of the ugliest ugliest costumes and i have it so looks like my belgian people really took off on this uh on this episode so this is uh the zelda ben cooper line and i'm gonna ask the belgian people if i can dress my kid up in it i don't know if they'll want me to maybe they'll want to save it for their kid they just had one actually congratulations by the way so i think i'm gonna call it i think i'm gonna call it for today i don't want this video to run too long it was uh fun to open up stuff unfortunately most of this stuff seemed like the really good things were the belgium my belgium friends but hey you know what I'm happy for them. I'm a little jealous of that folder. You know, it is what it is. I'm glad they are bumping up their collection as well. It's fun to talk to people. You should really, I highly recommend finding a friend, not even someone you know. Try to actually get someone you don't know, some, a friend outside of your circle that you can talk to them online just about collecting. It is really cool. And if you can really get to that point where you can trust them, like I friends and family, these people I never recommend. I always say don't friends and family on PayPal. Always, 
always do goods and services because you never know. But with these guys, I actually do friends and family. So it is dangerous to go alone. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. If you have any really cool Zelda items or just really cool items that you found, I would like to hear about them. Like just anything, anything unique. And I love that. I love unique. It doesn't have to be just Zelda. Although brownie points for Zelda. Please, if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. I don't just unbox things, but I've been letting my, my Smash Brothers was last week, and that allowed my mail to pile up. So I'm going to be doing another one of these videos fairly soon. It is dangerous to go alone. Please share this with a friend, and have a great day.